kind of become an annual event. Um, I was always impressed with uh, my professors that I had, teachers throughout my career that um, would always perform and perform for students and, and put on recitals. I felt it was a really important thing to do and it just kind of keeps people active. And then I started to bring in other art forms. So we've done theater productions in here with improvised music and we've done poetry with improvised music. Um, so tonight, we're going to have something very different. We're going to have ceramics being done, which is first for me, I think probably first for, for many here. Um, so we're going to welcome Linda Gelfman. Linda Gelfman. So um, tonight kind of marks also another um, horrible thing for, for me, losing a, a dear friend about a year ago. Henrik Hansen. Steve and I worked with Henrik for many years. Henrik was, if you've ever been out to um, the Nutcracker uh, in Sacramento, the, the Community Center Theater, he was the conductor for the Nutcracker, um, ended up passing suddenly and lost a very dear friend. So uh, tonight's concert is dedicated to the memory. Henrik would not have wanted us to be sad about it. He would have wanted it to be happy and to celebrate through music, and that's what we're going we're gonna to do tonight. He always loved the duo and the improvisation that Steve and I did, so I thought it would be a great way to capture Aww. some of that. So, yeah, so it's going to be real special. Um, so I'm going to do a piece next that is, is dedicated to Henrik, and actually Henrik wrote for me uh, a few months before he passed, and we never actually got to play it. But this is called Tune for Dying. Thank 
So Steve here, we've been playing together for over 25 years. It's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a long time. Yeah. Never. A blonde hair of his. Um, and he was my first jazz teacher, and um, we actually ended up putting together ensembles and groups, and we've probably been through five or six different configurations of those. But one of the things that always came back was the, the duo. It's how we started. Um, and it's, it's one of the places that we're really comfortable. So we put out a recording back in the day on tape, cassette tapes, everybody remember cassette tapes, right? Uh, and um, this is a piece that I wrote for that specific thing. It's actually one of the first pieces I think I, I ever wrote. Uh, this is called Night Fires. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we've been here almost 16 years? Yes. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> 16 years. And uh, I've just always admired her, her creativeness and her artwork and personality and everything. It's just very cool. So we always wanted to collaborate. We were supposed to do this many years ago, and it didn't end up working out. But we're going to do it now. Thank you. So we're going to do a piece that Steve wrote for his son. This is called Nathan's Son. Thank you. 
similar to what we're doing tonight with several artists of various mediums and uh, at this particular gig I was the only musician so it offered me a chance to do a lot of solo material that I've been working on for a while and it's all improvised there was nothing written out and subsequently I reduced it uh, produced a solo recording from that particular uh, day of, of art and music so it was very very cool and a lot of fun and this is one of the things I, I worked on that day this is dedicated to the great chief, the great chief, Chief Joseph. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Diane and I play, you know, we're watching Linda and kind of reacting to what she's doing as well. So it's, there's a real, you know, connection here between the visual arts and, and the musical arts. And Diane and I have always felt they're very connected. As Diane already said to you in his introduction, we've done many things with various kinds of artists uh, through the years of, of many mediums. And, and we just love it because all the arts are uh, connected and uh, it's fun to do them in an interactive manner. Uh, the next little thing we're going to do is something I actually call Devo. And if you know the group Devo, I think you'll kind of hear why I, I call it that. But this is an improvisation. There's nothing written. Uh, it's, it's just based on a loop that I did in my studio. Uh, and when I heard it back, I thought, that kind of sounds like Devo, if you remember those guys from the, I guess it was the 80s that they were kind of hip. And uh, so this is going to be a little Devo loop here, and we're going to improvise. And we're going to watch Linda as we do this. put it away for quite a while. Uh, we used to do it for, for uh, we go out to UC Merced and do lecture classes and things. And so this is something that he and I got into uh, quite a bit. We really loved the did. So I thought, well, we'll bring it back out and see if it works again. <laughs> so if everybody uh, knows the didgeridoo, this is, this is a Home Depot version of the ditch. <laughs> I do have a real one, but it's starting to kind of get funky and leaky. And 
all that, but this one is just PVC pipe and um, beeswax on the end of it to kind of form the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. And it's just a hollow tube. And uh, it's based off of circular breathing, so you'll hear the what I call the sniff track, right? So you're <laughs> sniffing as I'm going. piece we did was uh, off the first recording was a piece called Jungle Book and this one is going to be just kind of nature sounds and various things not a lot of tunes but just nature sounds so, how you doing man? good we don't know we're like on the last song so I can put all this together sure are we close? no <laughs> we're good <laughs> actually we're getting there
um, this is going to feature Steve, um, and this is from that solo album. It's from that it's same album. Yeah. yeah. This called, happens. Album. Called Potter's Wheel. It's Potter's Wheel. Potter's Watch for that spinning. Listen for that yeah. spinning. It's called spinning? No, it's called Potter's Wheel. Oh. But it's a so watch Linda as she spins the wheel. <laughs> Steve Lushman. Diane Epperson. 